All right, we are ready to start learning about main idea and details. These are the handouts that we're gonna be using in this video. If you don't have them, you can click the link in the description box below and go grab yourself a copy, or you can just stay tuned and see what you learn. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is get these handouts cut out. So at any time during the video, if I'm ahead of you, you can pause the video or back it up so that you can catch up. Now we're gonna fold on these black lines. I always fold backwards so I can see the black line and then I fold forward. And then we're ready to put it in our interactive notebook. You wanna line it up with maybe the pink line on the left side and then flip it and glue just that flap and smooth it down. Then you're gonna open it and slide the details flap underneath, fold the little details flap forward, and you're gonna put some glue on that and fold it back down. Then you're gonna open them both up and just make sure that your insert fits and then put glue in the space. And then you're gonna set it in there and then just make sure that the flaps fold back together. Glue the title down up at the top of the page and we're ready to get started. Let's dive in and we're gonna talk about main idea. Now, main idea is the overall thought or point being made about the topic. So the author's trying to tell us something when we're reading and this overall thought or point or idea that's being made about the topic is the main idea and that's the reason the author wrote this paragraph or passage. So that's what we wanna focus on. Now, often the main idea is going to be stated in a main idea sentence. Um, it doesn't have to be the whole sentence, but it could be a portion of one sentence. But a lot of times you're gonna have an actual stated sentence that you can find that is the overall thought or point that's being made. Now, not all the time, but this sentence is usually gonna be found at the beginning of a paragraph. Now, it may be in the middle, it may be a few sentences down, it could even be the last sentence in the paragraph that's kind of wrapping up the main idea thought for the paragraph that you just read, but you're gonna know it when you find it because it's gonna be the overall idea for the paragraph. Uh, what we need to look for is we wanna look for the idea that all the details are explaining. We're gonna talk about details in just a second. So we're looking for what the whole paragraph is giving us more information about. We are gonna use blue to find the main idea in our passage. So I'm just gonna highlight this in blue so that we can remember that blue is representing the main idea. Now we're gonna talk about details and we're gonna see exactly what details are and how they can help us figure out the main idea. All right, so the details are going to give more information about the main idea. And that information is gonna come in the form of facts, examples, descriptions, and explanations. So these details are gonna tell us more about what this overall thought is and they're also gonna help us figure out that main idea because we're gonna look for all these details and figure out what is it that they're all telling us. So that's what we're gonna be looking at. Right now, we are gonna take a look at this little passage and we're gonna figure out the topic, the main idea, and the details. So we're gonna read this now. Owls have special skills that make them amazing nighttime hunters. They need these abilities to hunt animals like mice, rabbits, and squirrels at night. The size and shape of their feathers allow them to fly silently. They can sneak up on their prey without making a sound. Owls also have good night vision. They can spot prey in the dark from high above. Even when they cannot see as well, they use their excellent hearing to pinpoint the animal. Turning their head side to side helps them find an animal's exact hiding spot. Sharp talons are also important in catching their supper. Owls swoop down on a small animal and quickly grab them with their deadly claws. No matter how an owl hunts, one thing is true. If you are a mouse, you better be careful. Okay, now that we have read this passage, we are ready to talk about main idea and details. First, we're just gonna think about the topic and we're gonna see if we can identify what the topic is. Now, this whole paragraph was about one thing. It was about owls. So the topic is just going to be one or maybe two words. It's not telling me what I'm saying about owls. It's just telling me that owls are what the paragraph's about. Now to figure out the main idea, we've got to find this overall thought and we've got to see what the details are telling us so that we can find the specific main idea about owls. 
So let's look at it and let's think about what we read. We learned that owls are able to fly silently. We learned that they have great night vision, they have excellent hearing, and they have sharp talons. So now let's think, what are all of those things related to? What are they all telling us about? They're telling us about how an owl does what? Why does it need to fly silently? Why does it need to have good night vision and excellent hearing and sharp talons? Well, it's because it's gonna hunt animals and it needs to catch its food. So all of those things are telling me about the main idea. Now we need to see if we can find a main idea sentence that has to do with owls trying to catch their dinner or hunting. So let's look towards the beginning because over here it said that it's usually gonna be found towards the beginning of the paragraph. And let's see if we can find a main idea sentence. Owls have special skills that make them amazing nighttime hunters. Whoa, that sentence right there seemed to tell us that overall thought because everything that we remembered from the paragraph had to do with how owls are able to catch these little animals at night and from being high up. So it's because owls have these special skills and that is why they are amazing nighttime hunters. So that's pretty awesome to know that that is what this paragraph is about. And we've got a main idea sentence right there. All right, I'm gonna flip back to the front and we're gonna write that main idea sentence down. Now, you can always pause the video if you need to to catch up with me, but I'm gonna go ahead and write this down right now. Owls have special skills that make them amazing nighttime hunters. So you can get that written down. And I want you to kind of think about how that helps us better understand this passage. Because now that we know what the overall thought is, we can see the relationship between all of these details and know why it's important to understand the main idea. It really just helps us understand what we're reading better. Now we're gonna take a look at this some more and we're gonna highlight some of those details that are telling us more about the main idea. What are these special skills that make owls such good nighttime hunters? Well, it says they need these abilities to hunt animals like mice, rabbits, and squirrels at night, but that's not really, that's telling us why they need it, but that's not really telling us what these skills are that they have. So let's see, the size and shape of their feathers allow them to fly silently. That's pretty important because their feathers actually don't make any noise when they're flying, unlike some other birds. So they're able to sneak up on those animals. And then this one says they can sneak up on their prey without making a sound. That one is just giving us more information about this. So it's an important sentence. It helps us know they're, they're not making any sound. That is an important detail. We need to know that their feathers allow them to fly silently. They're not making any sound. Let's see what else. Owls also have good night vision. So they've got this good night vision. If they couldn't see at night, they wouldn't be able to catch these little tiny animals like mice and things. I do not have great night vision, people don't, but owls have excellent night vision. It says they can spot prey in the dark from high above. So they're able to see these animals from high above. They wouldn't be like me where they would need a flashlight or something. They can actually see them with their eyes. Even when they cannot see as well, they use their excellent hearing. So even if they're not able to see the animal because maybe it's covered by some branches or leaves or different things, so it's not really visible, they can um, use their hearing to pinpoint this animal. Then it says turning their head side to side helps them find the animal's exact hiding spot. So it's just like if you heard a noise coming from somewhere but you weren't sure what was making that noise, you could kind of turn your head from side to side and if you're picking it up on your right side more, then you know that it's towards the right. Well, that's what the owl's doing. They're turning their head from side to side, but they aren't just like realizing, oh, this is out on the back porch. They're realizing a precise spot. So their hearing is so much better than ours that they can pinpoint an exact spot, not just a direction. Let's see what else they need. Sharp talons are also important in catching their supper. Okay, they've gotta have these sharp talons because they wouldn't actually be able to catch the animal if they didn't have these claws. Owls swoop down on an animal and quickly grab them with their deadly claws. So they're able to grab them very quickly before that animal can get away. No matter how an owl hunts, one thing is true. If you are a mouse, you better be careful. That's not really giving me any more information, but it's just kind of wrapping up the paragraph and saying, you know, owls are very good hunters. So a little animals better be wary because the owl is going to be able to get them because they've got all of these special skills. Now we're ready to write some of these details down on our foldable. We're not gonna write the whole sentence for each one. We're just gonna write 
the overall thought of that detail and how it's supporting this main idea that owls have special skills that make them amazing nighttime hunters. So one of the first things was that their feathers are silent, right? They are able to fly silently and sneak up on their prey. If they weren't able to do that, they wouldn't be as good of hunters because the mouse would be able to get away when it heard the owl coming. Another thing was that they have very good night vision. So unlike you and I, owls have excellent night vision. Another thing that was something that really helped them is they have excellent hearing and they can actually find an exact pinpoint spot of where this animal is. And then another thing is their sharp talons. So even if they could locate this animal, if they couldn't swoop down and grab them quickly with their sharp talons, it wouldn't really do them any good because they wouldn't actually be able to catch it. Now that we've talked about the main idea in details, we've got one more thing we're gonna do. You may be noticed that there's a space up here at the top. There's no title in this paragraph. Now, sometimes you can look at the title of a paragraph and it'll really help you understand what it's gonna be about. The title is usually focused on the main idea, but it's just gonna be given in just a few words. So we're gonna try and come up with a title that would help someone understand what this paragraph's gonna be about before they even read it. Now, we realize that they've got special skills that make them amazing nighttime hunters. Obviously, that's way too much to write for a title. So we really want to focus in on the fact that they are hunting at night. So we're just going to call this paragraph nighttime hunters. So then we've got when they're doing it, what they're doing it, and we know that it's a hunter. So we know that it's some animal that's doing it. It gives us an idea what we're writing about. So I'm just going to add this title at the top. And you can go ahead and get that copied down. Now I just want you to think from now on, when you start reading something, you can take a look at those titles and you can start thinking what the paragraph's about. And I want you to start trying to notice whether there's a main idea sentence that's helping you understand what the paragraph is about better. All right, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you check out my next video on main idea and be sure to click the links in the description box below to check out my other main idea activities and videos. Thanks for watching.